back live. So if your spouse was cheating, whether you were a political family or not, would you prefer they were doing it with a prostitute like Elliot Spix, uh, Spitzer or David Vitter, uh, Vitter or uh, somebody they obviously have fallen in love with like uh, Sanford of South Carolina? Clinical psychologist Dr. Victoria Zadrock, welcome. Which do you think is more damaging to a relationship? Oh, be, having an affair, a, a love relationship, an infatuation is far more damaging. I mean, this is tantamount to saying, I am no longer in love with you. I'm in love with another woman. Men tend to compartmentalize sex and love. Therefore, for them, to, to simply get involved with a prostitute is not a big deal. You know, running away, being crazy, head over heels in love, this is, this is a big deal. And, and there is a, a craziness. It is a kind of insanity. I mean, I apologize any time it ever happened to me in my, in my deep, dark past. Well, absolutely. This is limerence, infatuation. It's stronger than any feeling you can possibly feel. What about what? Uh, I think it was Ann who said this post-dork, Kirsten, this post-dork syndrome. Uh, these were guys like Mark Sanford, who was like a, you know, a schlemiel in, uh, in high school. Now suddenly he's the, got the power of the, uh, you know, he's the head of uh, the state of South Carolina. Uh, he has that now allure of power. Um, and is that part of it? Are they acting out to make up for some failings as young people? Oh, absolutely. He is sexually repressed. He's inexperienced. And now he is acting as a seventh grade adolescent, completely in love. He doesn't have emotional intelligence to understand what he's feeling and no, um, no emotional way of dealing with it so he's just running amok well should we feel sorry for him well um, of course to some extent we all feel sorry for people who you know fall in love and who are stuck in situations uh, where, that feel hopeless so to that degree as a politician no because we hold politicians to a higher moral standard well do you think that he should abandon public life and go hide or should he try to stick it out I think he should pursue his love affair. I think he's in love with this woman. I think she seems pretty busy down there in Buenos Aires, though. I, <laughs> I don't think he's in love with his wife. Let me put it this way. I think this was an arranged marriage. I think she was good for him. Uh, as he said, she was a good friend. I don't think there was any great passion ever there. And he discovered that he's a passionate man, and I think he should pursue that. To do what? Be a rock star? Or what's he going to do? Well, that's, uh, you that's know, his whatever. Problem. That's his problem. Victoria's rock. Thank you. Uh, stand by, ladies and gentlemen.